Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. I think we're finally on a normal routine again, so it's time for a normal grocery haul. Okay, first of all, I gotta show you, aren't these earrings like the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I found this new lady on Instagram called Femme de Bloom, and I have her link down in the description for you. Listen, everybody, her shop is amazing. She has tons and tons of Disney related earrings, things like this. She has studs and so many other ones. I also have a really cute Halloween themed one that I'll be showing off in a couple of weeks, but John surprised me with these earrings just a couple days ago. I'm so much in love. So yes, like I said, we're finally back on a normal routine. Allison had her first full week of school last week and she is just loving it. A lot of her best friends are in her class and she loves her teacher, loves all her new friends. It's just been amazing. And this mom has gotten so much stuff done. Like I am on fire with all the work that I'm doing. So if I can just keep up this energy for the rest of the school year, I will hopefully have enough stuff that I can just post it all during the summer and not have to worry about, you know, actually working. But now that Allison is in school, I have the time now to go to different grocery stores and pick up things that I need. I went to Mr. Max this weekend, as well as Kroger and Aldi, and I may have to make a trip to Meyer here in a little bit as well. But let's go into the grocery haul now and I'll show you what I bought. I loaded up on some snacks here at Mr. Max today. They had a couple of new things. So the first thing I grabbed were uh, three bo or three bags of these baked Cheetos. Allison really, really likes these. Just got a few for her. And this one was new, I think, Nature Valley Protein. This one is the Honey, Peanut, and Almond. Thought they looked pretty good. And I got three boxes of the Jimmy Dean Turkey Sausage Patties. I think I actually grabbed the last three of those. And then a couple of things for John. I got a bottle of the Da Vinci Sugar-Free Vanilla Syrup. He actually likes to put this in his Coke to make like a vanilla Coke, which is genius actually. And two bottles of these Mio. One of them is the Strawberry Watermelon and the other one is Lemonade. And the one thing I wanted to go get was Lara Bars. They had this big box of 20 for $10. So there are 10 chocolate chip cookie dough and 10 of the peanut butter chocolate chip. That makes these guys like 50 cents a piece, which is amazing considering they're over a dollar each at the store. Aldi was my main hitter this weekend. Um, just got mostly things, just um, essentials that we need for the week. Didn't buy a whole lot of fresh produce because I still have a lot in the fridge, but I did buy a container of strawberries for Allison and some bananas for our breakfast and another container of artisan lettuce. I enjoyed this last week, so I bought it again just for like salads and stuff. And I bought a big bag of pinto beans. I have a ham bone in the uh, freezer. So I'm going to cook these up as a frugal meal and that's gonna be featured on Friday. And I bought some flour tortillas. I'm making breakfast burritos for the week. When I asked Allison like what she wanted for lunch, I asked her like, what kind of cheese do you want? And she said, I want Swiss cheese, like sliced Swiss. And I said, okay. So she's got that for her lunches. Um, I have another bag of miniature chocolate chips. I bought one last week, but I am using a lot of them, so I didn't want to run out. Let's see, I got a bottle of barbecue sauce. This is going in barbecue meatballs, which I have right here, the meatballs. Um, John's going to a game night, so I'm just doing that. Um, I have a can of crushed tomatoes for a pasta dish and a container of Greek yogurt two containers of cottage cheese, another box of these yogurt tubes. Allison eats at least one a day. And I got a box of these protein bars, dark chocolate peanut butter. Allison actually prefers these over some of the other stuff that I've been buying. And a container of rolled oats. These things are expensive now. I remember paying like $2.49 just a few months ago, and now it's up to $3.49, which is crazy, but you still get a whole lot in it, so I'm okay with that. 
and a box of Stevia packets. We are almost out. Allison's been obsessed with the Aldi brand, uh, I was going to say Cheetos. No, Cheez-Its. Okay, yes. So she got the extra toasty this time around and another bag of veggie straws. I've been eating these almost every single day. They are addictive for sure. And a bag of spinach just for a couple of things. Then a package of vanilla protein yogurt. And I got a, a roll of frozen ground turkey for a pasta dish. Then three bags of frozen broccoli. Now I went to all these second in my shopping trip today, which it, it happens, but Aldi didn't have a couple of the things that I wanted, like a can of pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie mix, but just the puree. And they also didn't have a Jiffy cornbread mix. So I'm gonna have to go out to get that. But I went to Kroger first because they have the best peanut butter. So I just got two jars of peanut butter. If I had known that Aldi didn't have those items, I would have gotten them at Kroger. But you know, Kroger opens first. I figured I would try to save time. My total for this weekend was $82.34. I do still have to go to Meijer to pick up a couple of things. So I have like a little less than $20 left over, but that'll be plenty. And then I'll try to set the rest aside for Sam's Club. Now, as far as the meal plan goes, we are having small group this coming up weekend. We've already had it by the time you've watched this. I didn't buy anything for it in this grocery haul now, but I ended up making dinner rolls and then some honey roasted carrots in the slow cooker. I'm also trying to use up some of the stuff in the freezer just to try to save a little bit of money and make sure I don't waste any food. So I am making chicken pot pie that was already in the freezer. And I'm also having some salsa chicken. Both of those were in the freezer and I made those in a video a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that down below so you can check it out in case you missed it. I'm also making a really frugal meal of ham and beans. Like I said before, I have a huge ham bone in the freezer, so that's going in the slow cooker along with some pinto beans, and I'm just going to cook those and make some cornbread to go with it. Super, super easy. We're also going to Kings Island this Friday evening. Allison has been wanting to ride night rides for the longest time, but we always go in the morning, like right when they open around 9.30, and there's just no way that we can stay from 9.30 in the morning until like 10 o'clock at night. So they open up at five on Friday. So we'll be able to go have dinner, stay a few hours, ride some rides in the dark. It's gonna be awesome. She's never done it before and I'm interested to see how she feels about it. And then for breakfast, I'm just making some breakfast burritos and I'm also making some chocolate chip banana bread, both kind of for breakfast and for an evening snack. And any recipes that I have, I will link in the description below. And in case you missed my announcement last week, registration has opened for Get Organized HQ. There's a group of 100 ladies, myself included, who are bringing you a free online online conference with over a hundred different videos on things to help you organize your life, whether it's through meal planning, whether it's through like just organizing your home or even just life in general. Registration's open. It's absolutely free. So that link is down below. Make sure you sign up for that because you do not want to miss it. The videos run from September 12th to the 16th. So you still have plenty of time for that. Leave me a comment and let me know what is one thing you are looking forward to on your menu this week. As always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, ring that bell so you'll be notified when more of these videos come out, my other recipes and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.